All right. There we go. And you got to push the button to say yep. yes, you would record it. <laughs> so welcome everybody. We've been talking about human performance technology and what it does and what changes it has made in people's lives. So I would love to welcome Peter, Peter Mack or Peter McIntyre, depending on uh, how you see him. Uh, Peter, tell us about your life before Box and your life now. Well, before I came across Vox Life, um, it was just over five years ago, I was involved in a motor vehicle accident uh, from which has changed my life because I've now gone from uh, being a happy brain person that I now have mild traumatic brain injury, post-concussion syndrome, uh, which has put a big effect on my memory, short-term memory, uh, and the clarity of my brain and how it works. So, um, and it was the year after the accident that uh, an associate had the insoles and she was doing the balance testing. And I thought, well, this can't be right. Well, I ended up doing the balance testing and I went, cause with my, my accident also, my balance was out, uh, my memory and all this. Well, after the balance testing, I went, okay. I walked out with two pair of insoles that day. Um, it never really clicked when I had my shoes with my insoles in them compared to the shoes I was wearing without my insoles. I noticed my balance was off. Um, my neurological chiropractor, we had days of working out why I was having a better balance day. And then other days I wasn't, my balance was off. Uh, and I just wasn't focusing as well as the last time you'd see me. And now that I've been wearing the socks as well and the sleeve, the tech pattern triggering this, this numbskull up here has made that difference. Um, I still have problems today because of the storms we're going through here in Ontario. Uh, is also the barometric pressure has that effect also on my brain. It's just made a difference to my memory. I still have my bad days, yes, I'm short memory. Um, but now that I have my box and the HTP on, I have a lot better day than what I would be if I wasn't wearing them. And as, as in, I did a test again yesterday, um, not wearing my socks, not having my sleeve on. I took my patch off and went, no, let's see how. After three hours, that was it. Everything, the sleeve was on, the socks was back on. Um, I just, the difference that it makes for that three hours is, and then also with the, the weather coming in was, was a total factor in how, uh, my brain wasn't working, wasn't being triggered. So what would that look like? Like what kind of things would I notice if I was looking at you for the three hours that you didn't have the tech on versus the three hours, you know, versus once you have tech on? Um, balance, my speech, wording, uh, gets lost and confused. Mm -hmm. um, there are days when I've got Mrs. Mac is uh, even still um, like I might just have my socks on, um, but I haven't got anything else on. Uh, we'll be talking something and she'll come back to me and say, you asked me that question half an hour ago when I'm not fully. Um, so just like my short term memory, is the box going to fix my short term memory? No. Is it going to help me remember some things? Yes. Uh, and I'm like, when she says, you know, like you asked me that question like half an hour ago um, because I got the answer and I just pushed it and it's just gone. Right. That was the next thing was whether or not, I mean, if you asked the question half an hour ago, did she actually answer it half an hour ago or did you just ask? <laughs> 
Sorry, Julie. Uh, <laughs> uh, Julie's sitting there. She's got her headphones on because she's uh, listening to her show. Okay. I'm, I'm here, okay. so uh, I, I get out of less trouble that way. Yes, you do. You do. So, so now we can have this conversation and you're clear and it's just the Australian accent that might, um, might get a couple people uh, sideways, but what does your neurological chiropractor think now? Um, for those you that are not aware, I signed him up. He is now also, uh, he's not fully into uh, retailing this side of it, but he has them there for his customers to use if they wish to purchase. Um, he's, he's seen the difference uh, when I do my balance testing. He's seen the difference when we do my speech tests. Uh, my, I also, this is where I have trouble. The neurological side of the testing I do with the brain functioning mm -hmm. uh, and the instruments that they use to also generate with my brain. Um, we, one of the machines that I'm used where I'm hooked up, it's actually reading my brainwave patterns at the time. Um, he's, he has stated that the results of when I have my socks and my patch and sleeve on, my actual brain recording is up 50%, 75% better. Whereas if I do not have my socks on, if I do not have a sleeve on, my brain function and my, my brain wave coming back on the neurological side and that recording is much lower. Yeah. So the, the, and that proved to me, um, and I've sent you my, my brain mapping chart, brain map. that, put yeah. that on there because that shows, um, and when I had that brain mapping done, that was before I was wearing box, before I had the HTP. So, the, okay. um, and when that machine can tell me, yes, I have, the ADHD, which runs in my family, but I do not have it, it registered it. It said okay. that Peter does have ADHD. Peter also has dyslexia. So that, and this is what was read from that brain mapping. Okay. So I know that, yes, it is. My insomnia was up because this is all the year after uh, my accident. We finally got that testing done. Um, I have compression of the brain on the spine. And this is the word I need to pick up for me, please. <laughs> it's um, with the brain stem. Okay. That compression on the brain stem is also is an effect. And again, that's where, spread, along with everything else and the HCP, um, sure. that helps relieve that. Well, and when the HPT goes directly to the brainstem, it's alleviating the effects of that compression, yes. or at least some of it, right? Yes. Yeah. Um, Julie, can, Julie can tell the day it's like when I'm having my really bad day regardless. Um, mm -hmm. Today, the weather is a big factor. Um, if I didn't have my Vox on, we would not be doing this interview right now. It would be, mm -hmm. no, you'll find that uh, my speech and my answering the questions, um, I'm like, sorry, but um, what was, what were you saying to me? Okay, comprehension? Is dramatically improved while I'm wearing. Mm -hmm. um, it, it, it's, it has made a big difference. Um, even like when I'm getting to that stage, I'm feeling frustrated or I know that my anxiety is starting to come back up. Um, I've got this and Julie sees me doing this. I'm, I'm triggering the response by rubbing and those that aren't aware that okay. with, the, with the pattern on the inside with that. Now, now that's next week. <laughs> reflexing. That is doing the reflexing and sends a signal. Um, yeah. And again, it's now triggering my brain. I'm feeling more relaxed. Um, 
Don't ask me how the magic works, but it does. I know. It's, I just love being able to change people's lives. And, and just before we go, what does Julie think of the change? What does Mrs. Mack think of the changes? Mrs. Mack likes the changes. Okay. Trust me, it's especially when she knows that I, I'm not wearing, I haven't got my socks on, I haven't got my sleeve on. Um, here's the one, here is her saviour. This is her saviour, and I can guarantee. Anybody mm -hmm. that has insomnia and sleeping, this is the saviour. Mrs. Mack's personal statement to me is when I am not wearing my rim patch, I'm like a <clears throat> kangaroo hopping around in bed all night. <laughs> and she knows I'm not wearing it because it just totally relaxes and allows me to get that into the deep sleep mode, okay. uh, which means I'm more refreshed for the, the next day. Oh, yeah. I totally agree. Totally agree. All right. Well, thank you, Peter. This has been fabulous. Uh, if you know somebody that needs to see this, please share yes. it with them. And uh, you can get in touch with either Peter or myself. My link is socksonthedoc.com. And Peter's is? PeterMack.voxlife.com. Um, when you come in to search for Peter Mack, you'll find me on Facebook. Feel free to message me. Yeah. Ask him any questions that you have or put them in the comments. Yep. Have a great day day wherever you may be thank you beth you have a great day too okay i stopped it um and do i yes i'm sure i wanted to stop it.